Hello, this is Thomas Warfield, and this is my game, Pretty Good Solitaire. In this video, we're going to learn how to play the game Baker's Dozen. Baker's Dozen is what is called an open solitaire game because all the cards are dealt out face up at the beginning of the game, in this case, into 13 piles, which is how it got its name, Baker's Dozen. Your objective here is to move the aces to these four piles over here and build them up in suit to kings. So let's get started. We have an ace available at the top of this pile right here. Let's just move it up, and that starts the game. Now, I'm just what you do down here is you build regardless of suit. Now, I can build a six here. I'm building by suit now, but I don't need to. For example, I can bring this four down here. You don't have to build by suit. It's just uh, helpful sometimes if you do. And now I see this ace that's buried here. I can get that out by moving this two here and then the three here and the two here. And I got that ace out. Now, the thing of it is, once you've cleared a pile like this, there's nothing you can do. That pile is gone. You can't play a card there. So I had to do it because an ace was at the bottom of a pile. but once you get rid of a pile, it's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay, now I see that there's a two of clubs buried here. I'm going to get that out right away by doing that. And now I'm also looking for other good cards I can get rid of. Here I've got an ace of diamonds underneath the six of diamonds, and there's an eight and seven here. So I can just move the six up here, and that's a nice little move. Might as well move the five up there now as well. And that cleared a few cards out. Now. You notice that this three could be played on the two, but the, the game plays very conservatively. It doesn't necessarily move cards over there. Um, it tries to keep the piles as close together as possible because you kind of do need these, these cards here to help you move around because you never know what you're going to need up here uh, to, um, to maneuver the cards around. Now, I have got one more ace buried here, and I'd really like to get out. So let's go ahead and play this nine here and this nine here and then i can move the queen on the king and that freed up an ace and a whole bunch of cards moved off that time because that freed up things very nicely okay so again i'm looking for low cards here that here i got a three of hearts and there's a seven on it and there's no place i can move that seven right now um so i need an eight and so what i could do is take this 10 here and put it on the jack and that frees up an eight for me so i can move that seven there and the three came off again looking for low buried cards i see this four of hearts here that's really the lowest card left uh and we got a bunch of cards on top of it let's see if we can get rid of them there's a five that can go on this six here and a seven can go on this eight here and the jack can go on the queen here and that got rid of the four and we have another four here with a 10 and a 9 on it. Let's see if we can get to that one. Well, we've got a 10, a couple of 10s. We can put it here. Let's put it here by suit. And then we can move this 10 on the jack. And that gets the 4 out. And a whole bunch of cards came off. And so we're really close to winning here. All we have to do is dig out some buried cards. Looks like the main thing we got to do is get this 8. And it's got a couple of jacks on it. So let's move this jack of spades on the queen of spades like that. And now when we move this 8, I think. Pretty much everything's going to come off. So I move this jack here, and the eight came off, and we won the game. So this is my game, Pretty Good Solitaire. Pretty Good Solitaire contains hundreds of solitaire games, and you can download it from my site at goodsol.com. Thanks for watching.